products and advertising can affect children in unexpected, adverse ways. Social media gets used for cyberbullying. Small toys get swallowed. Alcohol ads lead to pre-teens drinking. To prevent these outcomes, companies need to anticipate potential risks. Those that put children's safety first, build trust in the community, and safeguard the future of their brand. The Children's Rights and Business Atlas can help you spot these risks in advance to respect and support children's rights. In the marketplace, children have rights to safe products and services and marketing and advertising that don't negatively affect them. Let's see how you can use the Atlas Marketplace Index to understand your company's interactions with children and uphold these rights. The Marketplace Index examines three risk categories. Marketing and advertising. For example, how fast food advertising affects children's diets. Product safety, such as the number of child injuries from toys. And online abuse and exploitation. For example, what are state efforts in stopping online child abuse? The Atlas measures these risks against three pillars – weaknesses in a country's laws, gaps in enforcement, and reported incidents of violations. For each indicator, a country gets a rating from 0 to 10. The higher the rating, the greater the need for companies to conduct due diligence to manage the risk. For example, say you're with a company that makes highly caffeinated energy drinks. Your product has been enjoying record sales in Indonesia and you want to further boost sales through a new ad campaign. But first, you conduct a marketplace risk assessment for product and marketing safety in the country. Using the Atlas, you check the country of Indonesia and the food and beverage industry. You discover that there's a need for due diligence in both product safety and marketing in this region. Based on the Atlas, which of the three pillars is of greatest concern for product safety in Indonesia? Indonesia has a rating of 10 for lack of enforcement of product safety. According to the Atlas Industries section, many food and beverage products lack nutritional information, limiting children and parents in making informed healthy choices. Together, this lack of information and enforcement could expose children to unhealthy diets. With this awareness, you decide to carry out an impact assessment. You start by conducting research with teens, children, and parents in the region. You discover that teens and adolescents are the biggest consumers of your energy drink. In your other global markets, regulation on product advertising and warning labels help keep these products out of children's hands. But in this region, there are no such regulations. It turns out that your ads are being run during children's TV programs, and the drinks are found in school vending machines. Children and teens are drinking your product on a daily basis, which is known to adversely affect their sleep and health. This could turn into a major risk to your brand reputation. Your company responds by adding warning labels and working with distributors to remove the drinks from school vending machines. And you work with your advertisers to place your ads only in channels aimed at adults. While these remedial actions may reduce some sales in the short term, you're protecting your brand from being hit with a major PR crisis. In places where state regulations and enforcement are weak, companies must be more vigilant and make greater efforts to self-regulate. The Atlas Marketplace Index can help your company spot child safety risks in your products, services, and advertising around the world. By using the Atlas, you can put children's safety first, building trust in the community, and safeguarding the future of your brand.